everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Soreo. Now the holidays are upon us and we are here today at the Promenade on the Peninsula to help you find just the right gift for that special someone. beginning our journey today at Coldwater Creek and I am joined by Ann Poschel and we are going to look at all the fun stuff for the lady in your life for Christmas for the holidays um, so many great things here at Coldwater Creek we have so many beautiful holiday gifts this year um, we're gonna have a couple of models come out and show you but everything from the big faux fur trend to all the warm and cozy sweaters um, we have beautiful scarves we've got faux fur trimmed leather gloves um, stunning jewelry for the holidays season you know I think that everybody wants to find that perfect gift for a, a girlfriend a uh, a sister a daughter a mom and this is really the perfect place because it really encompasses all ages it does I mean a lot of the faux fur would be appropriate for your sisters a lot of the cozier sweaters might be a better gift for your mom um, you know all kinds of different scarves from beautiful silky ones like I'm wearing today to really warm and cuddly ones for when you go skiing up in Big Bear yeah, and yeah, yeah. So so, and then real cute little gifts for the um, for your home in that um, different little door stops and you know accessory type of things. Just, so just to make things more festive, of course. Yes, yes. The more fun, the better for That's the holidays. Right. Very good. All right, mm -hmm. we're gonna see some models now. They're gonna come out and uh, give us a little fashion show. Well, today we have the beautiful Andy. And here's a look that will definitely turn heads. The soft touch pointel sweater pops under the Darlene Bold Faux Fur Plush Vest. We've paired it with the Ponte Slim Leg Trouser in Bitter Chocolate to complete a look that can be dressed down for a day of outdoor Christmas shopping or dressed up for sipping drinks and sharing laughs with friends. Add a statement necklace or two to add femininity and sparkle. I, I was gonna ask you about the necklaces because it's so much blingier and more festive and fun to add to, but people are afraid it's too much. And everybody's doing it with the casual looks and what's a lot of fun this year too is they're adding all the big rhinestones with the pearls mm -hmm. and th they're showing both of them together. So it it's a really a fun look. It really is. And now we've got the beautiful Katie who's coming out. Yes, Katie, this is quite a timeless look. It's subtle, classic, and elegance. Make it the perfect choice for sitting for a picture in Santa sleigh with the little ones. We've laid the silk cotton mock neck sweater in neo navy underneath the beautiful ruffle collar boucle jacket. The jacket with a hint of silver shimmer woven into mixed blues is a fantastic piece to wear with blue jeans or leggings. Here we've chosen the slimming super stretch straight leg jean to balance the fullness of the jacket. And that jean is fabulous. That jean is one of the most forgiving jeans we have in the store. It's it's just, it really, it's a beautiful jean. It's very, very comfortable, and it it really works well in almost all body styles. You know, I love the dressing up of a jean, and especially during the holidays when you're running around, but you have to go grab a drink with somebody or appetizers, and you want to be a little dressy, and this outfit's perfect. Yeah, the dark denim makes it dressier, and then again, she's put the rhinestone necklace on with the denim to even give it a little more bling. And Andy is back looking fabulous. <laughs> yes, Andy does. She's back in a bright sweater set paired with a fun multicolor skirt. You'll be the life of any holiday party. Both office appropriate and wonderfully colorful. The silk cotton trim shell and cardi with the sapphire boucle pencil skirt make a stunning pair. The skirt opens the door to endless possibilities for a top either tucked in and belted or worn more simply. And I think the pencil skirt is just a classic piece that everybody should have in their wardrobe. Well, and it is a great piece. And the thing about this piece is she really can wear this to the office right. and walk right, you know, next door to the holiday party for the office because it really is just a classic look. And the fun colors in it will pick up so many different colors on top. You could ch easily change it with a purple, uh, a yellow, uh, even a black would go beautiful with that. It would. It would be beautiful with it. And you're going to see a lot of the blues this um, winter and holiday season. Um, think snow, yeah. you know, and the coolness in the air. So it's going to be a big color. Nice. All right. I think this is my favorite outfit so far. Look at this. This is definitely my favorite outfit. Katie looks, she just looks so in the 
holiday oh, spirit yes. today. Um, the rich hues paired with patterned metallics are a beautiful way to show flair this season. The cowl duet, duet top in deep pomegranate elegantly drapes over the jacquard tapered pants. The silk floral scarf ties the look together and layered with pearls add an unexpected dash of luxury to soften the vibrant look. And these gray pants are fabulous. This is something you could wear to work, to a party, to an event, and they are just stunning. Well, they're just absolutely beautiful. And the funny thing is when we got them into, they had paired them with a denim shirt. And you could easily, you know, really dress it down for the hay rides and things by wearing, you know, a denim jacket with it and a pair of boots. And there's so much versatility to them. But it looks beautiful with the with the pomegranate color. I, I think Katie's got it together here right now. <laughs> she does, she does. She's gonna have fun tonight at her party. <laughs> and, and you know, the what I love about gray as well is so, so many other colors will go with gray and it just really, it's just a classy look. It, classy and it's just so elegant. Yeah. You know, you just, yeah, any, you're right, anything matches it, and it just um, it looks beautiful with whatever you pair it with. Well, that was a lot of fun watching our fashion show this year. Your models were great. They were beautiful. I mean, just absolutely stunning for the holiday season. Yes, and in addition to giving, we also think about giving back to charity. Tell us how um, Coldwater Creek is working with St. Jude. Um, well, this is our second year that we're partnering with St. Jude, and we are taking donations in our store. Um, we're also taking them on our website, and I know you can donate on Facebook also if you like our page on Facebook. Um, and all contributions will, you know, completely and directly go to help um, the St. Jude Hospital and all of the patients that stay there. A very, very worthwhile charity. All right, that will do it for Coldwater Creek, but when we come back, it's the gift of relaxation. Don't go away. Now, if you're looking for a perfect gift for someone who has everything, why not the gift of beauty and relaxation? And here at Apothecary, they've got both and more. I am here with Francine, and we're about to have so much fun in this store because I don't know any woman that doesn't like to buy a new lipstick or treat herself to, um, you know, a facial, uh, anything to relax and feel more beautiful. And you have gotten so many great things in the store. Absolutely, we've um, been here for two years, and we now expanded to twelve additional lines this year. Mm -hmm. One of our biggest lines is Creed, which is a very, very well-known brand, um, as well as Kevin O'Quan. So those are two really key products that we brought in. But we carry everything from Mario Badescu to philosophy, where um, you know it can be all price points. So don't be afraid. We're here from ten dollars to you know hundred hundreds of dollars. But we can cater to everyone's needs, really. Okay. And when we talk about makeup specifically, I know that Smashbox is coming in very Absolutely. soon. Um, tell us about the makeup lines that you have. Um, we our biggest is Bare Essentials. A lot of our clients love their Bare Minerals, and they actually order online. So they're really happy that we can color match. The great thing is, I was with Bare Essentials for five years, so I'm able to customize the needs of my clients. So I really have worked with every single line and I've incorporated it into the store. So Bare Minerals, uh, Stila, as well as Kevin O'Quan are our biggest ones. And I know that you really talk to the customers and try to get what the customers want or things they want to try. Absolutely. So um, most clients are pretty versed on what's out in the industry, especially in the magazines. And so since I've been in the industry for 15 years, I really cater to what they need versus what they want. A lot of times they have tons of stuff in their makeup assortment so I say what do you have that we can add to it or maybe take away from it so I really recommend the client to come in bring their stuff let's see what you have and then let's work with that which is really an amazing personalized service because we all have things that maybe are outdated things absolutely. we should throw away and you might want to replace that with some something you hadn't thought about absolutely a lot the biggest one is mascara you really yeah. should replace that mascara and clients always have that well, I've had it and I, I think I love it, but they don't love it. And so we were able to kind of let, how long have you had it? Six months, great, let's let's change that out. So it could be really minor, minor changes to the okay. client. And let's talk about the services, the relaxation services. Of course, we, we saw the, the facial being done. What else do you offer? We um, uh, have brow waxing from uh, Demetra. She's an Anastasia brow specialist, like I had mentioned. And uh, we have 
uh, three makeup artists on staff. So we also provide makeup for prom and formals, as well as just your day to day. You know, if you're having a, a great event or a gala, we're here to service that as well too. And I think that sometimes people need somebody to do their makeup once or twice, and then they can learn how to do it themselves. Absolutely. So we do makeup lessons. So you can come in. We'll teach you makeup lessons. Bring what you have. Again, let's work with what you need, and it's customized. So we give you that time, um, where a lot of times when you are at a department store, you are at a specific counter and they're selling that specific line. We really are catering to every line. We, we are very fond of what we have here, so we're passionate about our lines. So we're gonna make sure to give you that attention. There's one other really cool item that we have to talk about. This is the Clarisonic. People may not know that you actually have them in here. Tell us how this works. Absolutely. So Clarisonic is actually an oscillating exfoliant. It cleans six times more than a normal manual exfoliation. It's also rechargeable. So it's amazing. The brush is uh, removable. You should replace it every three months and then you can just pop it in. We also have the brush replacements either in a dual pack or a single pack. But it's an amazing holiday gift, especially for the moms who don't want to invest in that just at the moment, but it's a great holiday gift. I see there's many different kinds and different colors. What, what are they all about? So we carry the Mia 2 and the Mia Body. So the Mia 2 is a two-speed. Um, a lot of clients like a slower speed for the body and then a, a faster speed for the face or vice versa. And we also carry the Opal. The Opal is an eye technology for around the eye. We tend to touch our eye with different fingertips. This one has a very sensitive tip for that eye area. So anything that you need, just stop on in. And next up, we're gonna take you to a store that truly has something for everyone. We'll be right back. All right, now if you want to find the perfect gift for anyone, a book is always the perfect gift. Becky, you have pulled some winners for us this holiday season. We're at the Book Frog. Um, show us what you got. Okay, start with some uh, new nonfiction books. First up is The Bully Pulpit by presidential historian Doris Kearns Goodwin, um, which is about Theodore Roosevelt and William Howard Taft and their relationship with the uh, journalists, actually, with the media. Wow. So, and uh, really interesting. Pete, my partner, is reading it right now and loving it. Great. Okay. Um, we've got something else here. We've got a book of uh, essays and reflections by um, conservative thinker Charles Krauthammer, um, which is getting lots of really good buzz. I guess it um, sort of shows you a little more uh, personal depth to him than you usually see when he's doing his punditry. So, nice. interesting. And then a, uh, another book of uh, American history by Bill Bryson, who writes all kinds of different things. Uh, in this particular history, he's focusing on one summer, one four-month period in one year in American history, summer 1927. And um, Pete read it and loved it, and we've gotten lots of other great feedback about it. You work all the time, but do you get a chance to read as well? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. And I'm lucky because now it's part of my job. Exactly. <laughs> and it's fun. That works out. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. So I have a couple of um, fiction titles next up. Um, the Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, who hit it really big 20 years ago with her first novel, uh, The Secret History. This is only her third novel. She comes out with one a decade. And it is... In my humble opinion, the best book of the year. Yeah, really? it's. Now, why would you say that? It's it's a big fat novel for one thing. Love big fat novels. It's um, very sprawling in what it encompasses. The action goes from New York to Las Vegas to Amsterdam, back to New York. There's a stolen painting. It's actually what that's what the title is. The Goldfinch is a painting, um, and the characters are incredibly vividly drawn, and it's. Um, it's just gorgeous. Great. Just gorgeous. Okay, now we've got another fun one here. Another uh, novel. Um, this one I hope to see come in next Thursday as the winner of the National Book Award. It's a finalist, and this is my favorite author, Thomas Pynchon. Bleeding Edge, um, very, um, very different, very kind of postmodern and um, kind of challenging, but also um, accessible at the same time. It's set in New York right after, right before and right after 9-11, which is kind of unusual for him, so a great one. 
Um, a couple of our two biggest sellers of the year, okay. I'm sure they're going to end up being, are two middle grade reader books. One is the latest Diary of a Wimpy Kid installment, Hard Luck, in which um, poor Greg's best friend gets a girlfriend, which means that Greg is on his own, and he turns to the magic eight ball oh. for all the answers to his questions. And the, we all do that. <laughs> yeah, I still do. <laughs> and um, the House of Hades uh, by Rick Riordan, which is um, the most recent Heroes of Olympus installment, and they were beaten down the doors for this one the day it came out, and they're still buying it like crazy. So Greek mythology, great stuff. And then finally, two really cool gift books, coffee table type books. Um, the Big New Yorker Book of Cats, which is the companion to last year's book, The Big New Yorker Book of Dogs, okay. easy for me to say. And it's, it's everything. It's New Yorker cartoons, it's poems, it's essays, all on the subject of cats. And then finally, one of our favorites, all the songs, the story behind every single Beatles song, and it's lavishly illustrated and has all kinds of, you think you know it all after all these years, but you don't. So great for any music lover or any coffee table book lover, any Beatles lover, of Perfect. course. So. You know, people come in and they might say, I have a friend who likes travel. I have a friend who is interested in cooking. And really, I think a book is the one gift you can never go wrong with. Absolutely, absolutely. And the beauty of coming into a bookstore instead of doing it online when you have a question like that is maybe your friend loves travel and loves a certain destination so we can find a book that's not even necessarily a travel book that gives them a different view of that destination or a book um, about cooks or chefs, not a book that's just a cookbook. So talk to a bookseller. We can get you hooked up. Well, I'm, still, I'm still the kind of person who loves to pick up a book and read it and, and hold it in my hand and then share it with a friend after I'm done with it and suggest that. So it's great that we have you here to make the suggestions and invite everyone to come, come into the book frog and find something. Now, in addition to that, I'm noticing you've got beautiful Yankee candles in here and a lot of fun gifts as well. Oh, yeah, we do. We've got the Yankee Candles. We have uh, journals and blank books and um, just all kinds of uh, good stuff. Um, we're having a big uh, Doctor Who 50th anniversary celebration, so we have lots of fun Doctor Who stuff, too. Nice. <laughs> Well, literally, if there is anyone and everyone on your list, you will find something for them here at the Book Frog, so come on down. Hi, my name is Captain Andy Olvera with the Los Angeles County Fire Department coming to you from Fire Station 106 located in Rolling Hills Estates. This is our 21st year in partnership with ABC7 collecting toys for the less fortunate children. Over the past 21 years we've collected approximately 7 million toys to help out the less fortunate and once again we're asking for your help to provide an unwrapped toy or piece of sports equipment for the less fortunate children this year to help bring a little spark of, spark of joy into their Christmas season. So. From our firehouse to your home, we want to wish you a happy and safe holiday season. Coming up next, if you've got a child on your list or your child at heart, this next stop is for you. All right, now picking out the perfect gift for a boy or girl can be challenging, but we're at a store that meets that challenge. Welcome to Small Wonders. We are now joined by Becky. Now, Becky, you are the toy expert, so we have a challenge for you today. If okay. you'll help us pick out a gift for a 10-year-old boy and girl. Not a problem. Okay, for a little girl, there's a couple different places, and you'll have to follow we'll me around. We'll follow you around. We're gonna follow Becky. This is one idea for a 10-year-old girl. Um, these here are all of your nail stuff, okay. you know, and to be honest, um, we just did it at my daughter's house with her, uh, with my daughter being the 10 year old girl who is actually 34 <laughs> and her kids be, be doing it. But we spent a whole day do, using this one okay. and oh, look at this. this one, it has the little, you know, for your toes, the whole shot and the fake nails. We, we did, Everything. we did all of them. Yeah. Um, 
this is another one. The tape fatty has been fantastic. And actually, you know, my daughter's got, her girls are three and six, and then she's 34. We spent a whole day tape fettying everything. Our phone cases are tape fettied. We took hair brushes and did it. It's just all different designs of tape. The best one is the picture frames we did. We just cut cardboard and then went and you know and then went around the edges and stuff. So all the adults in our, in our house, all the teenagers, all the 10-year-olds, I have a huge family are all hooked on tape fetty now. now. You always have such unique items. Never seen tape fetty. How do you select select the items out for the store? Um, we go to trade shows, we look through catalogs, we have reps that come here. We go down to the Gift Mart in LA. There is a Big majority of it is our reps that come here and show us the newest product and going to the trade shows. We're finding something now for a boy that looks very unique. Tell us about that. Okay, so this is the snap circuits and your cameraman was just telling me that he knows what it is. So since you've seen it, they've added sound to it. So this one is the one, the one with the extra sound where you can make, like you said, doorbells, all kinds of things. It's all electronic. I am not a 10-year-old boy, so I don't totally get how it works, but they love it. Just depend. They comes with, like, I forget how many projects, but all kinds of different projects to do. You can change your voice with it. It's just all how different electric circuits work and stuff. They've now come out with the one with the extra sound, and they've also come out with the light one. Oh, wow. Check Tell us about that. With light. It's the same idea, except see, it's got the fiber octa optives. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> fiber optives. It's got the egg. It's got all different things that light up along with your electricity. And all. again, it has like 175 different projects that you can do involving electricity. I see it's got like a rotor, you know, all kinds of fun things involving electricity. So creative and a little art projecty, yeah, which is yeah. which it's is science oriented. It's a little bit a little bit of everything that 10-year-old boys like. Also, we have to look right here. We've got a magic hat and magic things, which kids love. I think yeah. boys and girls across the board. And these are great. This one is for a little bit younger child, and then this one would be for the older child wow, okay. with the harder magic tricks. And there's also this one I love for the older ones, the math magic. Oh. So there, it's math, but it's magic. So they're learning, but they don't realize that they're learning because they're having fun. Exactly. Four of my grandkids have had this one. We love it. It's a remote control vehicle that goes on the land or the water. Wow. Um, we've done it a number of different places. We've done it in the pond in Prospect Park in New York. We had ended up having to wade out there a little ways. Um, we've also done it in my mom's fish pond, and which really works out well. The fish aren't real happy, but <laughs> the five-year-old boys love this one. And then there's this one, which was new this year. You turn it on. And then you just shake it, and you have to shoot down to the All floor right. here. So we're going to go down to the floor here, and we're going to look and see how this works. It, you set it down. So it just is waiting for us here. <laughs> nice. This is a talking car. Here we go. This looks like hours and hours of yeah. fun, Becky. It's great for five-year-olds. All right. Five-year-old girl, and we are in an area that looks very blingy, Becky. I love this. I have a six-year-old granddaughter. She loves this stuff. She's been doing it since she was almost five. Um, a lot of the crafts start at age seven. This one starts at five. And what it is, I don't know if you can see it, you get... Stick these jewels that are on like a sticky sheet. Yep. And so, for example, if the jewel is round and that color, it goes on the number five. So then you take it off the sticky sheet, you put it on the number five, on in this case, a jewelry box, and so on and so on. If it's this shape and this color, it goes on the number 10, and so on and so on. My granddaughter loves them. She was like, Hey, can we do a sticky mosaic? We love them. We have so many of them. There's, um, Water bottles, jewelry boxes, little purses, there's Fancy Nancy, but this one works out great for a five-year-old because it's a little project that takes them a little while to do. It's not something you play with for two minutes and then you're done. And when you're all done with the project, you have a finished product. Becky, it looks like you've got something for a much smaller child called the Rockabye Bear. I do. This is Rockabye Bear. You simply press his little paw, press it, and he's singing. 
it's mesmerizing actually for an infant to watch the little the little head and then fall asleep. Now Bernie's joined us over here and we now have a peekaboo Elmo. We do. And I had to take this from this young man over here. I think uh -oh. he's probably about six months. How old is he? Eight months, Eight months you old. Better order some more, Bernie. <laughs> anyway, he was playing a peekaboo with I Elmo. Want to play peekaboo with you. Wow. So he's got Oops. a lot of twists. He's Let's talking get... to us this year. Oh. What's his blankie up here? There you are. <laughs> so a lot of games that we were playing with kids. Now the toys are playing with the kids. That's right. Absolutely. He's. Aww. And just when you think he's all Bernie, finished, he keeps playing peekaboo. Oh, no. <laughs> and Elmo is the number one most favorite for, I don't know it's the color or his face or his voice, but Elmo is really the, the best. You can't go wrong with a six to one year old. In addition to all these great toys, Bernie, we are also noticing that you do gift wrap. Yes, we do. Here comes Tennessee now with all kinds of fun packages. These are definitely a gift for all ages. Wouldn't this just be perfect in anyone's home to have the illuminated pictures or the trains? Becky, tell us about them. Yeah. Every year we get things from, from this manufacturer for Christmas. They have carousels, they have a Santa that climbs the ladder um, for decorations, and every year we sell out of them. This is one of the newer ones this year, the train, and I love this train. I think he's really, it's really cute. It ha there's actually a switch here for different songs. This is, it's old time Christmas stuff. They do these pictures, the illuminated pictures. They do um, carousels, which we sell out of every year. They'll be in the window later, in, later this week or this um, month. All right, so Becky, now we're looking for something for teenagers. Show us this. Okay, these are the dancing water speakers and actually teenagers and adults. I've actually bought these for an adult in my life. Um, you plug it into your iPhone or your computer or your iPad, and then the speakers dance to the music. We have another fun thing that I'm about to play with. This is Thinking Putty. I'm here with Tennessee, and she's going to tell us about this. How does this work? Okay, so I really like this um, because this is yeah called Aaron's Thinking Putty, and as you can see, it's a really cool color, and they have all a variety of colors. You can just kind of mush it, and it's good for just de-stressing or playing with it. Kids like to fiddle with it. You know, if you've got those fiddlers, uh, it's really safe. It's non-toxic, um, so I really enjoy it, and it doesn't smell funny, which I've noticed about some other putties. Oops. Well, as you can see, I'm having a great time playing with all the toys here in Small Wonders. Really great gifts for any age. But now we're going to take a break and head on over to the Marmalade Cafe in just one second. We're here at the Marmalade Cafe. I am now joined by Miss Ayel, and we're talking about some new amazingly scrumptious items that are on a brunch menu that you guys have out. And we want to remind all of the holiday shoppers to make sure they stop right here at Marmalade to, uh, to get re-energized, right? That's correct. That's Decided good. to change things up a little bit here. That's right. Spice it up. Yeah, and you know, we talked about people love coming to Marmalade because you've got so many great items that we, we all love. I love the Chinese chicken salad, but it's fun to try new things, and especially at the holidays, I think. So, so let's talk about what we have in front of us. These look awfully good. Yeah, so we definitely went with something different than our normal menu here. Okay. Uh, this one here we have our um, chocolate French toast, oh. chocolate dipped. So that's oh. a little bit different. Okay. Just it sounds good. So we, we take our uh, thick cut bread, and then we dip it in Gardelli chocolate. Oh, yeah, we have some orange and strawberry syrup over it, okay. mascarpone, whipped cream, like oh. vanilla cream on top. Excellent. Drizzle some powdered sugar, a little mint to make it look fancy. I think, I think anything that's dipped in chocolate is going to be amazing. It, it changes it up, yes, that's definitely. It. Okay, and then what is this over here? This looks amazing as well. Yes, and this one here, totally different from our menu as well. It's our uh, chilaquiles. Okay, you, you get to tell us what that means? Yes, okay. chilaquiles. It's a traditional Mexican dish. Okay. And there's different versions of it. This one here, we decided to go um, a little different. We have uh, some chips, both corn of uh, the blue corn and traditional white okay. chips on there. We have some um, enchilada sauce, tomato mild. 
We drizzle some um, sour cream, some cheese, some peppers. There's a pico de gallo, cabbage, okay. a little egg on top. So sort of like a interesting sort of brunch nachos with a twist here. Yeah, like a mixture of a tortilla, like a oh, scramble. Yes, very traditional and um, Mexican dish. And you can tell by the avocado, it just gives it that like, yes. you have the red, white, and green colors in there, the egg. And you can also get that dish with chicken or shrimp. You know, that one almost looks too beautiful to eat, you know that? <laughs> this has been really, really popular the last couple of days. You have some other things on the brunch menu as well. What other kind of things? I know there was a pineapple pancake. That's like a treat. Okay. I've had it a couple times. It's like dessert. Oh, like if you that. start with that, and yes. Okay. Yes, we also have a, um, oh, we have a hash, a turkey hash. Great. It's a little different than the traditional corned beef. Okay. But also serves with poached eggs and hollandaise sauce on top. And we serve uh, most of our dishes with fruit. Okay. Since um, you'll be getting potatoes in there. Exactly. So a little healthy while we're eating all of this scrumptious stuff. <laughs> You feel good about it afterwards. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay, and um, now during the holidays, uh, do you take reservations or how does it work? We do take reservations, okay. especially on those holidays okay. and busy days, okay. call ahead of time. Okay. And yeah, we That's definitely great. accommodate. I know that you have to go. Um, and people, again, whenever you're, you're shopping and you need to stop in for, for lunch or dinner, what time do you start opening during the day? Oh, during the day, weekdays, we open at 9. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Okay. Which uh, up here, there's not a lot of breakfast places, no, so it's very convenient. Yes. All right. And of course, the, the the most important thing is that we taste it now and we see how delicious these are. Oh my God! Chocolate French toast might be my new favorite thing I've ever had. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. that, just about, that really just about sums it up. Chocolate French toast is, this is a must-have item. You just keep going at it and get addicting. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to be shy. All right, here we go. <laughs> no, the sauce gives it a little bit of a softer. Mm. Mm. I, amazing. This is an amazing, amazing dish. So if you haven't tried this here at Marmalade, mm. Then very, very popular. Very Again, good. so flavorful. Again, a little bit of everything. A lot of flavor, and you feel like you're doing something good because you're eating healthy. There's egg and just so many good things. Yeah, yep. veggies, right. avocado, very good for you. And we will be back here to have this many more times. Thanks for having us. Oh, I'm glad you were able to try these. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal. Excellent. All right, and when we come back, it's going to snow right here in Rancho Palos Verdes. Don't go away. Now, when we think of the holidays, two things come to mind. Holiday music and, of course, snow. And believe it or not, we found both of those things right here in Rancho Palos Verdes at the Norris Theater as they're bringing us a little white Christmas. You are portraying iconic characters in an iconic production. Uh, beyond just the characters, though, you're making people feel something because it's the holidays, it's White Christmas. How do you sort of prepare for that? Well, you hit the nail on the head. People are expecting an amazing experience because that's what they have with the film. And we will not disappoint. This show is really special on the stage because you kind of feel like you're pulled into the world of White Christmas. And even though we're here in California, you really do feel like you're in in, 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 in Vermont. And you really do feel like, you know, these these characters are coming to life right there. And, and you get to become a part of it. And, and I think the stage is so intimate, too. Talk yeah. about that. This is a great space. Uh, I, I love the size of it. There's a balcony, so it's got the feel of a large space. But everybody's very close to the stage, so there's an intimacy. And while there are elements of this show that are spectacular, some of these tap dance numbers uh, are huge, like anything you'd see on a Broadway stage, at the heart of it, the story is very intimate. And it's something you like to be close to and really get into the lives of these people. All those years ago when they made the film, they created some really wonderful, uh, profound and, and complex characters that we get to portray. And it's nice to be up close and personal and get to know these people. Well. It's Christmas time. I mean, that's amazing. However, what really is the heart of this show is is just giving back to those who have loved you in the past. And, you know, it's it's wartime and post-war time, post-World War II. And that was a really special generation, a generation that took care of each other. And I feel like we're doing justice in telling this story and, and honoring that generation as well. Yeah. 
I was thinking about that too because this is, as they call it, the greatest generation. And the character that I portray was an army captain. And a lot of what drives the plot is his loyalty to his commanding officer. Mm -hmm. And there's a love story that we get to portray, and it's kind of a showbiz tale, you know, backstage thing. But it's it's also really driven by this this generation's love and loyalty to the people that they served with and served our country with. And that's really a strong element of this show. And it really kind of, I wasn't expecting that part of it when we started working on it. And as glitzy and, and glamoury, if that's even a word, as the show is, you know, it really does come back to family values and, and loving each other and taking care of each other. So that's really the heart of everything. Yeah, these characters are really true to each other. You know, they really are people who try to keep their word. And when they think that somebody hasn't kept their word, it throws a whole wrench into the, into the process. That's really the, the thing that happens in the love story. Mm -hmm. It's it's a misunderstanding, but it's it's about somebody who didn't seem to keep their word or wasn't what they thought they were. And then when that person proves that they were a person of integrity and truthfulness, then all was restored. Mm -hmm. You know, but that some, says something about that generation that those were the values that they held dear. Okay. Now something also happens in the middle of this production. Um, it snows. And that's got to be an amazing moment. Does that ever get old? <laughs> okay, when we did this last year, yeah. I don't think there's a performance that we had when it started snowing that I didn't cry. It there's something magical about that moment that it's it's what every little kid wants. I turn into a little kid when it starts snowing in the audience, and so do the people in the audience. Yeah, amazing. amazing. I grew up here in Southern California, so until I went to college, which is actually in Vermont, in New Hampshire, uh, I had never seen snow come out of the sky before. Right. So there is something kind of magical, and Christmas time is the time when you love to see that. Uh, this is a show I've always wanted to do to the point where. Many years before this show was done on stage, when I was a kid, I loved White Christmas. I saw it all the time on television. I'm a huge Danny Kaye fan. And at some point, as I was in New York, living in New York and doing Broadway and stuff, I literally said to a friend of mine, this would make a great Broadway musical. Right. That friend of mine ended up choreographing <laughs> the Broadway production of this musical and called me before it happened and said, I have good news and bad news for you. I said, what's that? They're actually doing a Broadway production of White Christmas. I said, oh my goodness. I said, what's the bad news? You're not directing it. That was the bad news. So, um, but I love this musical. I mean, I, I think it's should be a tradition for like every theater to do every Christmas time because it's really wonderful, really wonderful. You know, interesting you bring that up because a lot of times we see old movies that are remade, right. but when you bring this to life on the stage, I think it's better really than any remake because it's such a spiritual mm -hmm. feeling. It is. I mean, to, to experience something like this live, to have kids who have never been to the theater before, if this is their first theatrical experience, it can literally change their life because it is something so magical and so wonderful. And the other thing I've noticed about doing this particular production is how it touches people of my generation, older than I am. Right. It really, really does uh, bring a lump to your throat. I, I was very pleased to see that, that people were moved by it because you can approach this show very sort of frivolously and just, oh, it's a bunch of songs and a bunch of dance and a, a little bit of story. It's not. It's a very poignant story right. about people believing in certain things. And if you really present that and the truth that it is, it's a terrific moving story. It really is. So I feel like if as you age, it's harder to keep that spirit of Christmas with exactly. you every year. You've been through many before. You've done been there, done that. And I think that is the beauty of the story, but not just for the characters in the show. I, re I feel like coming to do this show is helping me remember to be a kid and believe in magic and believe in miracles. And um, if you really feel like you need to pick me up and you need to feel like you it's Christmas, come to the show because it will do that for you. And it's been a blessing for me to do it. If you want to feel the spirit of Christmas, this is the show. Over many shows, many Christmas shows that I know, this is the one to go see. The songs alone, that Irving Berlin score, just takes you right back to another time and immerses you in that Christmas feel because that's what he does. And I know we talked about it already, but yes, it snows in the theater and it's so exciting. And I too become like a little kid when I see that. It's really remarkable and to see the kids looking up and they're like trying to grab the snow it's fantastic it is and the whole value of family is in this show i mean what more christmas spirit could you could you ask for you do you feel like you're in the christmas spirit when you're rehearsing always always <laughs> cuz like everyone's just so uplifting no one's like down and drowsy everyone's just so happy and it just makes me feel so 
on top of the world, you know? Aww. Okay, now how many, for people that don't know, how many hours have you spent rehearsing every day? A lot, because on Tech Week, we spend a lot of time, because on Wednesday, we go from noon to 12 o'clock at night. Wow. So we're working really hard. And when do you have time to go to school? Uh, I go to school, but my teachers know about it, and they're a really fan of um, the arts, so they can let me pass. Very nice. Now, what about um, costumes? Tell us about your costumes in the show. My costumes, well, I've tried on a few. I have my ending costume, which is, like, red and sparkly. <laughs> and my um, my nightgown is, like, a greenish plaid or a silky white. Either one they're going to pick, so... So, yeah. so that must be pretty fun, having things that are just made just for you, just for the show. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> and I think it's really, I feel like I'm like uh, not 10 anymore. I feel like I'm like at least 12, right? Yeah, <laughs> at least 12 or like 22 or something. <laughs> Hi, my name is Captain Andy Olvera with the Los Angeles County Fire Department coming to you from Fire Station 106 located in Rolling Hills Estates. This is our 21st year in partnership with ABC7 collecting toys for the less fortunate children. Over the past 21 years we've collected approximately 7 million toys to help out the less fortunate and once again we're asking for your help to provide an unwrapped toy or piece of sports equipment for the less fortunate children this year to help bring a little spark of, spark of joy into their Christmas season. So. From our firehouse to your home, we want to wish you a happy and safe holiday season. Hi, Maria. I'm at our favorite spot to shop locally. That is the gift shop at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center, where you will find something for everyone this holiday season, and especially gifts that are unique to the peninsula. Our gift shop is fabulous just because we have a little bit for everyone. We have toys that are less than a dollar and then we have some beautiful sculptures, we have glassware, we have wine glasses, serving platters, we've got hats, we've got gift bags and we've got a little bit for everyone so it's really a fun place to visit. There's just so many nice things in here. I'm very, very impressed. So the thing that grabbed me first was that beautiful Christmas ornament that has the peacock, the peacock feather, yeah. This thing, I just thought this was beautiful. Unbelievable, beautiful things. I bought two boxes. I'm a box person, I love boxes and they're gorgeous. They have some unique stuff that you can't really get anywhere else. And they like how you can see whales and dolphins and stuff out there. And then you can just come in and buy stuff that looks kind of like it. We have everything from the one of a kind high end gift to stocking stuffers uh, for kids and for grown ups. So we really have the whole range. And it's great because you never have to go to the mall. You can find it all here. And probably no one is going to get a duplicate gift if you find it here at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. You not only have this gorgeous gift shop, but we have a beautiful museum. Um, it's a lovely museum that highlights the, the Palos Verdes Peninsula. So it's called the Point Vicente Interpretive Center, and we have really wonderful volunteer docents and junior docents. So we're supported by the community, and uh, again, it's just a lovely place to visit. So let's talk with your top 10 gifts. What, what, what do you got on your list this year? Well, one of my favorites is we have handcrafted pewter jewelry. It's pewter and freshwater pearls, and it's handcrafted in the United States, and then we have sand dollars, and it's really gorgeous. Number nine would be our art glass sculptures. They're wine goblets. Again, they're one of a kind, different ocean themed, and um, it's great for a gift exchange. Number eight would be um, we have a great new baby gift. They're uh, organic cotton, uh, natural dyed, and they have ocean animals on them, and they're adorable onesies. And uh, so that would be a new baby gift. If you have a college student, we have these great items. They're called Magic Top and Shorts. You put them in water and they expand and they get a little tank top and shorts. We also have boxer shorts. So that's a fun gift. Um, we have uh, great stocking stuffers under $10, a wide variety of jewelry under $10. So that's always a favorite. We that's number seven. <laughs> number seven. Number six would be the cute box to put the jewelry in, which are these Cadiz boxes, which Cadiz is a type of 
shell. We have a great line of reusable um, thermal bags, so you can put items from Trader Joe's or homemade baked items or anything you like in them. The reusable bags would be number five. We're moving down to number four. Number four. Number four would be our plush for kids. We have a huge assortment of all different kinds of animals you wouldn't ordinarily find. We have little quail, we have bats, we have foxes, we have coyotes, we have bunnies, we have whales, we have, we even have a vaquita. <laughs> Number three, anything more base for kids in here you wanted to, to talk about? You know, we have also a great line of children's books, educational books, nonfiction, which is really important for kids to learn about the environment and the world around them, and some cute, fun nautical themed fiction as well. Number two, how about the adults on your gift list for books? Everybody is always looking for information about Palos Verdes and about the surrounding area. We have books on local hiking, we have books on the ocean, the tide pools, and we have the new book on uh, Frank Vanderlip, which is um, titled. Uh, the Banker Who Changed America, and uh, we do have it in stock here, and it's been very popular. It just came out. So now I feel like we need a drum roll for Cindy's number one pick here at the gift shop. What is it going to be? This time of year, it has to be Christmas ornaments. We have a large selection of very unique nautical-themed and peacock-themed ornaments. So if you need a special ornament for a local person, this is a great place to find it. Okay, so I definitely found my star pick of the day, these adorable starfish ornaments, and they're under $10 each, and they're definitely hanging on my tree this year. We hope to see you down here at the gift shop and at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. They're open 361 days a year. Happy holidays, everyone, and happy shopping. to remind all of our viewers to shop local first we are here today at sid's jewelers with the president and ceo of the palace Verdes chamber of commerce eileen hupp and you have been a busy lady tell us about the pro program that the uh the businesses are uh, helping out with here oh thank you so much good morning maria good morning. um we are so excited to be here at sid's jewelers in beautiful golden cove rancho yes. palace Verdes. um the chamber of commerce is so excited we launched a new program this year called the local first holiday passport and the idea behind it is to really give our residents and our shoppers a chance to see the amazing assortment of businesses and organizations we have here peninsula-wide. Right. Now, how did you get the businesses to participate? We um, emailed, called, and walked door to door and knocked on doors, literally. <laughs> yeah, so you were a very busy lady. Now, how does the program work? Because I think people forget that we have so many great stores here in, uh, on the hill, the peninsula. And, I mean, we're in a beautiful jewelry store. It's the holidays. I mean, what better place to come and, and look for a gift? Exactly. So um, the idea is, is that residents can simply Google Palos Verdes Chamber, and that will take them right to our Chamber of Commerce website, and then they click on Local First Holiday Passport and download the Holiday Passport form. And that will give them a list and a, a little brochure of 40 local businesses that they can visit over the month of December. If they visit 25 out of that 40, pick any 25 you want, um, go in, get your passport stamped. No purchase is necessary, although you'd have to have a lot of willpower. <laughs> Um, and then you complete your passport with 25 stamps, drop it off at the chamber office by January 1st, that's the deadline, so you've got the whole month of December, and then all completed passports will be entered in a drawing to win this fabulous gift basket right behind us. There are items in here that are valued, the total is valued at over $4,000. What an amazing gift for yourself to share with your family. Let's mm -hmm. talk about some of the items in this basket. This is just amazing. I know, it is amazing. All of the 40 local merchants that are participating in the program donated something to be in this beautiful gift basket. So we have everything from starting right here at Sid's Jewelers, a $125 gift certificate. Great. Um, and then you can go right upstairs to Medelity Healthcare, which is a fabulous anti-aging salon, a whole Wait, array of products. Can we go there now? We or? could go there now. We could go there now. <laughs> okay. But if you win the basket, you will get a beautiful scrub that's valued at over $40. You can also win, let's see what else is in there. Oh, my gosh. There's two tickets to an upcoming performance, um, 39 Steps at the North Center for the Performing Arts. There is a year-long membership to the South Coast Botanic Garden. The list goes on and on. And the list is also also on the Chamber website as well. Great. 
Um, all the stores that are participating should have this great sign in their window, okay. so you'll know where to go. And they also have passports as well. Okay. But the easiest way is to just go to the Chamber website and download your own form. So you could really just do a little traveling of all the stores and go in. And if you happen to find something you need, like something in this great store, mm -hmm. go ahead and buy. Exactly, exactly. And the passport is actually organized by area. So, example, you can see Golden Cove Shopping Center. You can see Lanata Bay. Um, you can see the Silver Spur corridor Western Avenue we have some businesses there as well in RPV on Western Avenue so um, it's really really easy for all of our residents and our shoppers to check out and see what's here there are so many great ways to keep it local this holiday season Maria um, whether it's shopping for a beautiful piece of jewelry or maybe a gift certificate to Medality Healthcare for someone who could use some some of their wonderful spa services um, maybe a you know maybe a membership to one of our organizations maybe a class at the Palos Verdes Art Center or even even give a donation to one of our local charities like the Land Conservancy, the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy. Give that in honor of someone, you know, the, there's always that person who has everything. Why not give a gift to, um, you know, one of our nonprofits in honor of someone? So, you know, if, if you go on the Chamber website, there are all kinds of holiday promotions. All of our businesses are listed. And so the sky's the limit in terms of fulfilling your holiday wishes right here locally. Yeah, and I think that people forget that there's so many businesses tucked away. They just yes. think of the big businesses but really so many great ones exactly um you know there's blissful which is a brand new business and the wellness boutique they're in on rolling hills estates on silver spur um and deep valley drive you can go over to lanata bay where there's lemons and sugar and dollhouse and monsters i mean there's so many businesses that we don't think of which is why we thought this passport program would be a great way to help our residents get to know all of our local businesses well and you've done a beautiful job with this basket and knocking out doors to get all the businesses to participate in this program so we want to remind you pick up your passport either on the website or in one of the stores look for the red sign in the window get out get it stamped shop local and you could win an amazing gift for yourself for the new year what a great way to start the new year <laughs> oh i know i'm totally hoping that you'll be turning your passport in i would love to see you or any of our wonderful residents and shoppers win this basket it is awesome now eileen this isn't just a basket this is really building awareness for everyone in our community businesses and residents alike absolutely maria because as you well know with any marketing it's really about building awareness over time and letting people know that your business is there so if for example someone might come into SIDS Jewelers or Modality Healthcare to get their passport stamped. They don't have to buy anything today. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, but they'll remember that these great businesses are here. So when another event comes up, say in the jewelry area, say it's a First Holy Communion or a baptism or a graduation, um, birthday, bar mitzvah, whatever it might be, you'll say, hey, I'm going to run down to SIDS Jewelers or, oh my gosh, I really could use a, a, a spa treatment or that would be a wonderful gift. They're going to go, yes, I was in Medality Healthcare. It's a beautiful salon. I want to go back there. Absolutely. Now, when is the raffle? <laughs> oh, yes. Key question. So, yes, absolutely. So the deadline is January 1st. I know that's a holiday, but the Chamber of Commerce has a mail slot. So okay. drop your completed passport with 25 stamps in it in by January 1st. So when, midnight January, January 1st. 1st. Okay. Exactly. When we open the door on Thursday, January 2nd, we're going to put them all in a big basket and pull the lucky winner. Okay, so mm -hmm. you don't have to be, of course, there to right. win, but Eileen will call you. Exactly. So make sure your passport has your contact information on it. Excellent. Well, that will do it for us. And from all of us here at RPV TV, have a very happy and safe holiday season. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time.